Hello and welcome back our BG family and friends. Today we are outside in the backyard and we are currently inside the chicken coop. We are doing the seven week update on the chickens. We are officially calling them chickens because as you see guys, they are big enough for me to call them chickens. I'm already over the phase of chickies. So we are going to give you the update on them so you can see how big they are. And also we are going to show you where they are currently enjoying, I guess we're going to call it their forever home for the time being. So I am currently standing inside their run and they are enjoying life. Um, we are going to try to go over everything that is in here. It's not much. It's their basic essentials, what they need um, to be out here with them. So we're going to start off right over here. Um, this is their feeder. This I purchased in Amazon. And it said I think it held 50 pounds of food or 65 now don't hold me to it it was a pretty penny i chose to go with the metal build because here in the city whether it's bronx manhattan i don't think it matters what borough you are in we have pest pressure and when i mean pest pressure it's rodent pressure <laughs> and it doesn't matter what material it is they will bite through it chew through it so i chose a metal structure and this one has six holes and you can see how it works in action they literally just put their heads in and they find the food they eat and when they're done they come right out it has three holes on this side pardon the way it looks it rained yesterday and that's why it looks a little messy and on this side it has three others now you guys know i have seven chickens in my flock but they all don't feed at the same time all right so moving along over here this is the way that they get their water this one i actually got on um tractor supply this one has a I guess a twin or pack and it's the feeder I chose not to go with it like I stated already because of the road and pressure I didn't want to get anything plastic but I chose to get this one for their water this holds 12 gallons of water and it has this little thing right here and what you do well what they do is they actually put the little beaks here and they peck at it and the water comes out and at the beginning I actually had to show them how to use it but now they all pretty much know exactly how to use it as you can see they are actually demonstrating it for you right now so what I did was is I elevated uh, for them on cinder blocks because they actually need the water to be a little higher I actually still think it's on the lower side but it is what it is we're just uh, moving along with it um, so moving along here they actually have another cinder block here and they just like to stand up on it it was actually very um, fun to watch them yesterday in the rain I thought the sky was falling yesterday and they actually love the rain I was worried sick inside of the house but they were actually loving it they were pecking any little insect that was just swimming along and they just loved it on the floor here for them I was using fresh flakes at the beginning and I just put a little bit um, but yesterday after the rain since it was like muddy and sloppy I chose to put straw and they actually are loving the straw so I don't know what the difference is but they like it over here my husband actually repurposed um, somebody's bed <laughs> listen somebody else's trash is somebody else's treasure and it is solid wood and it worked out thank heaven for whoever got rid of it and it worked out for us he got handy with it and we actually had i don't know if these are one by ones or two by twos listen i don't know none of that terminology 
but it works and they love it they are always roosting on it and just chilling on it playing on it flying through it and all that good stuff and the last thing that I have here for them is a swing and it is really high for them because they're tiny still not you know tiny for the swing they're in their juvenile or teenage stage but I can lower it for them um, and I just haven't you know done it yet because I just been running around with a lot of other stuff you know tending to the garden and um, you know life um, but we just attached it um, to the metal bars here in the structure and just zip ties guys you know which is going with the flow here you know this is the first time we're doing this so yeah um, it is what it is but they are loving it guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the outside of this but you know we had to really reinforce this so it is what it is and to be honest you know this was a labor of love and um you know we're trying to protect them now they don't sleep here they pass their time here all day every day i wake up at 8 and i let them out and then we put them up around 8 to 8 30 so they're out here for about you know a good 12 to 13 hours you know i try to mimic as much sun as i can we do not have an automatic door as you guys are seeing here this is the door that we try to implement my husband put wood here um he tried to attach it as much as he could but we try to use just zip ties because we you know couldn't um, break um, the poultry fence here we did not want to break the poultry fence and we also reinforced it with um, chicken wire because like I said the rodents are an issue here in the Bronx and then we have this door here and you know we try to do the best that we can um, but you know it can probably change in the near future but for right now this works we also have I call it the nanny cam this is just the blink cam and it just shows us you know how they're doing because we're worried about our babies and now especially because we're in a heat wave and that also shows you uh, their coop if you will um, it's the shed that we brought them, the four by six. And we're gonna go into there next and we'll show you um, what that is all about. And um, yeah, so this is at an angle here, if you can see, it also has uh, like a sunblock UV and it was really good. So they are in shade unless the sun comes from this side over but right now they are currently in shade they don't get wet if it rains so it's UV protectants you know water resistance and all that good stuff so I'm happy with you know what we chose this is the door that goes um, in and out and I can spend time here with them and all that good stuff they're very excited they're very comfortable with me being in here with them um, they still don't like touch too much unless I bring them treats which I'm going to be giving them very very shortly all right so I went ahead and put down a plate for them and that's cucumbers tomatoes I uh, put down some raspberries for them this will be the first time that I put raspberries down and blueberries which is their favorite berry right now so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them with that so they can go ahead and enjoy I guess with their feast um, I try to do that at least once a day so they can have something and especially now since we are in the heat wave so that is nice and cold it came out the fridge and it gives them something to refresh and it also gives them extra water if you know they're not already you know intaking as much from the water that's available in their water um, tank so as they enjoy that we're gonna go ahead and go outside so you can see the actual build from the outside so the build is pretty simple but it took us a while like i said because we wanted to be extra because of the rodents i can't say that enough we put mesh down to the ground and we also try to reinforce it with rocks as you can see here and 
the chicken wire goes right up to here and it meets the poultry fence because this poultry fence i think it's not enough and i think that obviously rodents can chew through this um so that's why i wanted to reinforce it here and now my husband is even talking about um bringing this up just a little higher we also have to cover this gap that's here and we're trying to figure it out the door opens inward it doesn't open outward so we're probably just gonna cover this on the outside um because the feet stays out and obviously that's going to attract them um ain't nobody trying to carry 50 pounds in and out of the house every day so that's not happening um but yeah this is pretty much the build and how it looks that's from the outside i think we did an amazing job there's a lot of damn zip ties <laughs> that was the most tedious process of them all we also attached some lights here so we can turn them on at night you know we were trying that to see if the pests would stay away with light but that's not working guys so now we're gonna walk into the shed which is their coop and it's tiny but it's mighty as you can see it from here look at it from the outside it's a 6.6 .6 feet high right at the top and the door opens outward and what my husband pretty much invented is opening it right here to the brick and then when we open the door that's attached to the coop they can hopefully walk in they haven't mastered that yet but we're working on it i've tried to bribe them with blueberries but that's really not working but it is what it is all right so this shed actually came with a window which was perfect but the window actually um brought like i guess like a pixie glass kind of thing and my husband was like no in the summer that's not gonna work because i mean the poor chickens are gonna bake um so what he ended up doing was adding this mesh this is not chicken wire it's kind of like i don't know if it's concrete mesh i don't know what it's actually called and this actually worked out wonderful until we had the huge thunderstorms yesterday and then everything ended up getting wet in there but other than that it works out beautiful i love the color the color actually matches my fence i'm gonna pan you guys over so you can see the fence real quick it just worked out beautifully don't mind the mess see the color of the fence hopefully with the sun you can see it so everything just matches you know perfectly it, it just couldn't work out any better so we're gonna go ahead and go inside the coop so you can see the setup in there so once we are in here you can see it has a vent down low and it's a black interior as you can see it's pretty dirty up there maybe we should clean it and then it has another vent high now we have the light bulbs that go all the way in here. My husband actually just lightly unscrewed them because when we turn the lights on at night, we don't want the lights to be on inside. We just want the lights to be on outside. We have them attached to a battery pack. Now this battery pack is nice and special because it has a light inside and i don't know how to work it <laughs> my husband has to teach me how to work it but this light here it turns on so it's like a flashlight um and this actually um brings solar panels so we can charge it with solar panels my husband has not installed that yet but we have them inside and I can't wait till he installs it because we have like five or six days of wonderful heat wave weather and they can ridiculously charge this without a problem. So in here, we did the straw because I had to change all of this for them yesterday because um, like I said, this got completely drenched yesterday because it was like a pool out here in my backyard um you know it drains but it it was just such an amount of, of water at the same time but it was just ridiculous it did not have enough time to drain so it ended up climbing into here so my son helped me clean this out and we ended up laying down some straw and some um deodorizer so it does not you know have a little funk in here <laughs> nobody wants that 
and I think they're actually liking the straw more than the fresh flakes but I have two packs of fresh flakes and they're just gonna have to deal with it <laughs> So what my husband did here is um, I think my neighbor ended up gifting him a couple of cinder blocks and we we can't be happier and he actually laid two cinder blocks on the side and two cinder blocks up and I think he found this um, nice solid wood stick and he just Put it sideways and that's where they sleep and they love it i don't know for whatever reason they like to fight for this space right here why i don't know <laughs> and then he has this one little bar right here he just put it there i don't know if they really use it or not but they they sleep here they love it um they're happy now we leave the door open during the day so it can air out um, especially now during this heat wave it can get pretty hot in here i have one of those thermometers that you obviously use for humans and you can um check the temperature you know for surface and body and all that stuff when i check the temperature in the surface of the roof it does get a little bit hot especially on the heat wave um so that's why we leave it open but once the sun comes down and all that it does cool in here um and it is tolerable for them so you know this is pretty much where we are at the build is pretty much done there's just some things that we have to kind of perfect but we are happy where we are at we are happy to have them out of the house and into their permanent location um, right now it's just pretty much teaching them the tedious um, issues of you know coming in and coming out they got the coming out of the coop fine because you know obviously they do want to get out is it just coming back into the coop uh, the problem but i think you know eventually they will get it they're very intelligent and they're figuring it out well that did not take long <laughs> almost a clean plate just a couple of tomatoes on the plate and on the floor but i guarantee you that'll be done in no time and once they are satisfied look at that happy chickens and happy mom <laughs> well guys i mean you know that is pretty much it you know it's a seven week update i can't believe they are almost going to be two months and they are just growing they are getting chubbier and they're getting they're just happy they're happy 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 they're getting friendlier um you know because they're getting used to knowing that you know i bring them treats i bring them food and all that good stuff but you know once it comes to food they are still on the chick starter um, I'm hoping that they go through that chick starter before they um, transfer over to the, um, what is it that they have to go into next? I think it's the layer feed or something once they start, you know, laying because, <laughs> you know, I am feeding them some kitchen scrap and um, they're not going through the feed as much, which, you know, in change is a good thing, but I do want them to be to go through that because eventually I think in like two or two and a half months the feed is going to have to change and I don't want to have to be stuck with you know feed that they eventually don't use water is still regular water um, on hot days like this I do put electrolytes in that water and when they go into the coop to go to sleep at night I do make sure that they do have water and the water that I use in there is the uh, one that they had when um, they were baby uh, chicks and they love it um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys look at all of them <laughs> they're such clowns I love them love them and the other good thing about this is is that as they grow i can tell who they are and um the only hard thing that i'm having is between chicken little and gina but other than that i can tell who everybody is and the breed so i don't know if they're gonna let me get no they're not gonna let me get close but down here the white one is freckle this one right here is um, Jeanette. 
as we go over here the one that looks like a hawk she's Brittany next to her we have Eleanor the black one is Jerry my husband's favorite still don't know why he why he named her Jerry and the problem that I'm having is between the two white ones I don't know which one's Chicken Little and I don't know which one's Gina but my bet is that the right one is Chicken Little and the left one is Gina but other than that I know who my flock is <laughs> so to break it down Brittany is my olive egger over here <laughs> I can't over here with Eleanor and with Jeanette those are my Easter eggers Jerry is my um, Oh my god, what is Jerry? I'm blanking out. She's uh, my blue caca Moran. <laughs> I can't. Um, Freckles, she's the um, California uh, white. Chicken Little is the white leg horn. And Gina is the Rhode Island white. And that's my flock. <laughs> it takes me a while guys I've had them for so long I should know this right but yeah that's it guys that is the update they are happy hens and now it's just continue to grow them and wait for production and enjoy them for the extended of their life as pets because that's what they are they are pets with a benefit and they are funny they are interactive and very 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 enjoyable and I am happy with what I am doing they get me active they get me up and they get me mobile and I'm moving and I can't be happier if you are on the fence about getting them I say get ahead and take the plunge there is nothing better in the world than to get yourself a flock of chickens a flock of hens start small if you're not sure and just do it but other than that guys from my flock to yours from the rbg home this is what we have for you and as always guys please like comment subscribe share so youtube knows that we are creating amazing and likable content and it'll help our algorithm and as always guys we love you and we will see you guys on our next video bye